Hey Tappernauts, have you ever wondered why it's so cold at the North Pole and the South Pole? Well today, we're gonna find out. Let's go outside. This is my super scientific solar simulator setup. I'm gonna do an experiment. Imagine this water gun is the sun and the water coming out of it is the rays of light coming from the sun. I'm gonna shoot the water at the earth on this skateboard in two different spots. First, I'll aim it so that the water hits the North Pole. Then, I'll aim the water so that it hits right at the equator. Here's the question, Tappernauts. Which spot will push the Earth the farthest? Let's make a hypothesis. Tap yellow if you think hitting the North Pole will push the skateboard the farthest. Tap blue if you think hitting the equator will push the skateboard the farthest. OK, those are some good hypotheses, Tappernauts. Let's find out. Here we go. All right. Now let's try the equator. Equator time. Wow. It went so much farther. Wow. The water hitting the equator went so much farther than when the water hit the North Pole. But what does this have to do with the temperature at the North and South Poles? To find out, we're gonna have to go back inside. The sun's rays hitting the center of the Earth strike it directly, but the rays hitting the North and South Pole hit the Earth at an angle. Those rays are what heats the Earth. So because they strike the Earth head on at the equator, they heat up the Earth way more. As they get closer to the top or bottom of the Earth, more of the sun's rays bounce off into space, so the Earth heats up less. That's why the North and South Poles are so cold. Anyways, I've got a game of water gun skateboard basketball coming up, so I gotta run. See you next time, Tappernauts! That was awesome! If you want to learn even more, you can find hundreds more experiments, lessons, and activities by asking a parent to go to TappityApp.com. We can't wait to see you there!